after the brain tumor, that was probably one of the worst moments of my life with cancer. Uh, the pain was, was horrific. Um, the medication was, was horrible. And uh, there's many times that I was, uh, I could understand where people would kill themselves pretty easily. Um, I won't say that I wasn't tempted. Um, I'm fortunate to have young kids and um, a wife that loves me. So those were some of the things that, um, that kept me around to fight. My name is Matt Crump, here are my story. Family is quite interesting. I was set up on a blind date with a girl a long time ago. It'll be the last blind date I will ever go on. Um, and when I got to the house of the place we we're going to, there was a big fight ahead of time because I did not want to go on a date uh, with anyone. And uh, when this door opened up and this girl answered the door, I was kind of blown away that uh, I felt like this person was the person I was supposed to be with for the rest of my life. And uh, it was Robin, obviously. And I refused to talk to her pretty much the entire date. So I was quite a, a, a big ball of fun the entire time. And uh, within just a matter of hours, uh, we started getting along pretty well. And uh, within six months or, or so, we were married. So it was quite interesting how fast things went. And uh, most people thought we were crazy, and we probably were. Um, from there, uh, she joined me in the military. We got stationed in Berlin, Germany, which was a fantastic time for both of us. And then uh, came back to the States. And uh, my wife and I waited to have kids for quite a while, about 15 years into our marriage before we had our first child, Michaela. And then uh, uh, three years later, we had our second, which was Garum. And uh, it's just been fantastic uh, to actually be a little bit older as parents and to enjoy um, the life that we get to have with Garam and Michaela. So in 2010, we, uh, I, I had gone, gone to an event in Florida and I ended up having some pain. And when I came back, I went to the doctor and found out that I had a hernia. So when I went in for the hernia surgery, uh, just a, a short period of time went by and it didn't seem to work. So I had to go to Duke this time for another procedure. And when we got there, the person that looked at me uh, noticed a spot on my back that my wife pointed out and said that I needed to have that looked at immediately. Uh, turns out that it was the right thing to do because it was cancer. Um, this was 2011 and it was melanoma. So we went through a, a couple of surgeries uh, had some lymph nodes removed and within a year they thought everything looked pretty good and I just went back every uh, few months to every year um, when uh, they were observing me to see if anything else was, was coming uh, from the cancer. Fast forward to 2015, I was uh, leading worship at church and started coughing up blood one day. and. Uh, thought it was quite odd because I've never done that before. Uh, went to a friend who's a PA the next day and got checked out, got an x-ray, and they thought that I had pneumonia, had a spot in my lung, which they assumed was pneumonia. Uh, put me on a bunch of meds and uh, a week went by and nothing changed. When I went back, uh, my buddy Lou, who's the PA, he said, man, I think you need to call Duke. I thought, for what? For pneumonia? And he said, no, I think, I think this could be something coming back. Uh, so that was, uh, that was a, a big shock, especially when they told me that I was cancer free. Um, I wasn't. Uh, it was in my lung, uh, but it didn't start there. It started in my adrenal gland uh, and it went to my lung. I was running a big business at the time and uh, the economy was tough. Uh, the cancer was not easy and made a decision to shut down the business. Uh, it was one of the worst decisions and hard times in my life. Uh, we, we were uh, passionate about it, I was, and, and um, enjoyed uh, relationship with the community. Uh, so to say goodbye to that was a big deal. Uh, but within two months of shutting the store down, I started having some problems with uh, blurred vision and uh, lights flashing before my eyes, all kinds of things. Thought it might have been migraines or something. Um, was told to go to the hospital again found out that I had a bleeding uh, brain tumor. So I was rushed back to Duke for um, 
uh, emergency brain surgery. Um, proof that I did have a brain, at least. So cancer in itself is tough enough, and there's, there's times that um, I've had to deal with a lot of personal things um, about uh, knowing that somebody says you could die, obviously. And I talked about my kids that we waited a long time for and uh, to consider that I may never see my daughter get married or my son uh, rock out with his first band or, or, or whatever he wanted to do. Uh, it really hits you hard. So then there's, there's things you just have to deal with all the time. Uh, obviously the brain tumor disappeared uh, because of surgery. Uh, lung tumor disappeared and there's still several uh, areas in my body that has not disappeared that we have to watch all the time. It could spread in a minute. It could not spread again. Um, living with that in your mind is difficult. Uh, I got a lot of well-meaning friends who obviously uh, want to speak life over me and give me lots of scriptures and stuff to stand on and I, and I do. Um, but every day you wake up and you feel it and you know it's there, um, I have to deal with it. Um, that's been tough. Uh, the side effects are some of the worst things I have to deal with um, on a daily basis. Uh, things that, uh, things are supposed to be things I have to live with for the rest of my life. Um, things that I didn't sign up for or see coming and it makes things difficult uh, to live on a daily basis. But you just try. So I, I've been through treatments, I've been through radiation, I've been through all the things you go through, I've been through all the thoughts that a person has. Um, when you feel completely isolated and alone, that although everybody means well, nobody really gets it because it's not them, um, I get it, I'm, I'm there. And I think the biggest thing for me even though I can die today or tomorrow, of course we all get hit by a bus too, but uh, uh, is that there is hope. Uh, I believe firmly that there is a plan and a purpose for all of us. And you say, yeah, you're full of crap, Matt, because what kind of a plan does cancer have in my life? I, I wouldn't said maybe some of the th same things before, but now God's used something like that in my life to open up doors of opportunity for people to know that um, there can be a difference. Uh, there's a place of peace uh, when it doesn't seem like you can have it. Uh, there's an assurance when you're not given one. And I'm fortunate to have that. And there is a way to it. By saying God's got this, doesn't mean it's a magic wand and things go away. What it's saying is that he has it and I don't because I can't do it by myself.